Okay, uh, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do a video series on uh, machining and building a PM Research number three steam engine. Um, now, bear with me uh, out there. Um, I'd like to just make two points. Uh, first off, I'm not a machinist. Uh, I've never had any formal machine shop training, um, but I have been a mechanic for nearly 40 years working on primarily heavy equipment and trucks um, and I'm not afraid to try tackling anything that involves tools, machines, anything like that so I'm going to give this a try. Uh, second of all, I've uh, never done any video work or anything like that uh, so kind of got like two things going against me or going uphill but like I said I'm willing to give it a try. So, um, all right, so I ordered the steam, the number three uh, steam engine kit from um, ministeam.com. And I ordered it on Wednesday after work. And today is Saturday. And um, I received it from uh, FedEx. They delivered it uh, first thing this morning. So, um, I'll show you what we got instruction sheet, blueprints. Assembly drawings, all that good stuff. Um, you may notice I got the cast iron and bronze kit. I've done I've done some stuff in aluminum, and um, I've seen some videos. Uh, Tinker John did a whole video sequence on building the same engine, uh, and uh, he did the aluminum one. Mr. Peters done numerous um, videos, um, but I wanted to try the cast iron one. Um, so, the, the only thing cast iron in itself is the engine base, as I have here in my hand. Uh, it's pretty nice, actually. It's, uh, everything's complete. There's not like any voids. A little bit of flash. Um, but that should clean up very nicely. Okay. Uh, comes with a couple of bags of some goodies here. We got the crank web, the cylinder heads. Um, I would call it a connecting rod, but in steam engine, I'm sure it's called something else. If anybody want to leave a comment, what that's called. So there's a couple of castings in uh, bronze here. Okay, I've got another bag of some goodies. This is primarily brass and a couple of pieces of steel. I'm assuming the steel rod would be the crankshaft itself and some other things. So we'll get to that as we build the engine. Okay. Also have a bag with some um, screws, a couple of O-rings. I guess that would be the piston rings, and um, I guess they call that packing. Um, so uh, once again, bear with me on, on uh, some of the terminology. Okay. Next up is the flywheel, which is uh, really nice. That's uh, cast bronze. So I'm hoping that machine's real nice. That'll be um, that'll be uh, quite the center of attraction now. And then last is the cylinder itself. Again, cast in bronze. Nice heavy weight. Looks like real clean. Doesn't look like any voids. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, get, to get started on this. So um, just the just a little background, um, got started in this back in February of 2017, I had some shoulder surgery and I was out of work, staying at home, nothing to do, climbing the walls, and I happened to do a search, come up with, found Mr. Pete on YouTube and started watching all his videos and go from link to link and you find another YouTuber and another YouTuber and um, so Mr. Pete kind of started it, and I also ran across uh, Tinker John's website, YouTube channel, I should say, and he did the uh, whole series on building the same engine in, in aluminum. So um, I'm not trying to copy anybody. Uh, I just want to put a little bit different, um, different, different video out there. Showing the cast iron one, maybe some of my setups might be different. Uh, don't know where it's going to go from here. So, um, 
I invite everybody to uh, subscribe, like, uh, share, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, thanks again.